Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kyle Dibbon here, Bullion RV with Duluth, Minnesota. Today we're going to take a look at the Grand Design Imagine. It's a 2400 BH. So we'll start up front here. We'll get you on the outside and we'll get you inside and see what you think. What I love about the Imagines is you have a lot of protection up front here. So a really nice rock guard coming up about a quarter of the way. Then you got this little section of almost a straight spray and bed liner to protect that. And then you get your fully fiberglass front cap here too. So just a really nice uh, front cap, a lot of protection, aerodynamic. You got a couple uh, LED strip docking lights that are gonna be coming down here. So it just looks really nice and it's really strong. Also up front, you're gonna have two 20 pound LP tanks that we do fill for you here at Bullion. You got a power tongue jack, so just push button up and down. And then we're also gonna include a battery with a battery box, a 27 deep cycle marine gray battery. So that's gonna live right behind these propane tanks as well. Another great feature about the Imagines is the size of these pass-through doors and the thickness with the slam latch baggage door, which is super great. Held up by magnets can fit anything in here, fully passed through. You can see the aluminum frame construction in there. You're gonna have your solar, your solar controller right up here. Uh, motion lights in here as well. Prep for a tire link. Just so much going on in the pass-through storage. Uh, your whole water station is gonna be inside as well. So you got your battery disconnect. You got your battery uh, gauge right here to show you how many volts you got going on. You got power inside here, all your cable hookups, all your water hookups, and then you also have a hot and cold shower. Another nice feature is you got this section here where all the hoses are gonna feed through the bottom, plug it all in so you can shut this door and it's gonna look really clean and keep all that stuff out of the elements inside for you. So really great feature there. These are just crank down stabilizer jacks, so bring a little, uh, crank them down for you. Otherwise, a three quarter inch bit and a socket wrench, kind of the trick of the trade to zip those guys down. One slide on this unit. Bring it around the back side. So on the back side, you're gonna have your black tank flush right back here for you. You're also gonna have your uh, sewer hose hook up right there with a nice convenient light, uh, convenience light if you show up late to the campsite you're kicking out early nice little light for you grand designs throwing ladders on all their units which is gonna be really awesome so also with the aluminum frame construction anywhere you're gonna see the ladder or maybe the awning going in in those aluminum uh, in the frame right there they're also dropping a piece of wood down to drill those back into just have a really nice backer for the sturdiness of this ladder here full-size spare you're also gonna have an on-demand uh, hot water heater. So as long as you're not taking scorching hot showers, you'll have an on-demand, a tankless water heater for you. Come around, cool thing with the bunk houses is, I mean, the awning is gigantic. You also get to, be, get to tuck this uh, outside kitchen up under the bunk. So really nice flat stop, flat, flat top grill here uh, so if you've never cooked on one of these these things are awesome great for breakfast uh, do burgers uh, just stir fry things like that this is a these are great has a nice backsplash built into it as well so when you're not using it you can kind of fold that down scoot it back in to its compartment locks into play you also have a nice little area up here with power as well so nice section Nice little outdoor fridge, so you don't gotta run in inside, in and out of the camper the whole time. Nice feature, and then also back while you're cooking, you have this little spray port. So spray off your cooking stuff, spray off the kids, spray off the dogs, spray off your steps. Just a nice little feature here, right down by the back of the camper. Pop these down, and you can see these windows here for inside the bunkhouse. Gives each bunk a nice little lookout. Solid steps, so again, with the bunkhouse, you're gonna have a crew with you, a bunch of kids, maybe pets. These are gonna be really nice to help keep the camper from shaking and bouncing around. You got a friction hinge door. So these just kind of stay where they're put. Also with Grand Design, they throw a magnet on, so it does hold it all the way open. And then you can kind of just use your screen door to shut it if you want it. If you look up top, you're gonna have outdoor speakers on here so you got indoor outdoor speakers and then there is an led strip that runs the whole length of the awning under there too so it gives you really nice light at the at night power 
and cable. So if you're, your favorite team is playing and you sign up to go camping that weekend, you don't want to miss, you can put a TV out here. Movie night under the stars with the kids and some popcorn, hit a TV out here, that'd be great as well. This is the other side of the pass-through store. So again, get you in there. This is the spray port hose that we were talking about. It's also on the big 50 amp service. So you got one AC prep for a second if you wanted to throw a second AC in there. So that's outside, we'll swing inside and show you the features in there. As you go in, you're gonna notice this really nice big grab handle. Also, where you walk in, you got a spot to kind of kick some of those shoes, those sandals, those little flip-flops, tuck them up under there, get them out of the way. Little hooks to hang some hoodies or some coats, along with a nice little catch-all door up here as well. Compass Connect, you can connect Bluetooth to this, so you can run your lights, your awning, um, all that stuff uh, via Bluetooth. So if you're just sitting out there under the awning, gets a little dark, and flip the light on gets a little windy you can put the awning in just from the capability of your phone which is pretty sweet right in the back you got the teddy bear comfort double over double bunk like i said you got windows that open on each side you got a nice curtain for privacy and then each bunk is going to have its own kind of power system so the bottom bunk has the plug-in power system and if you have like a power box or anything like that Top bunk is gonna have the two different USB plugins for your devices, so you can kind of use those. Another nice feature is this bunk folds up and it'll attach, so if you got your kids' bikes with you, uh, maybe a bigger dog kennel or just a little extra storage, just a little taller, you can flip that up, tuck all that stuff under there. It's gonna be really great. Also right in the door into the bathroom, so not tracking through the camper again so get you into the bathroom i'll sneak past here a couple great features is porcelain toilet really deep storage for towels and all that stuff in here with these imagines they have a little bit of a rounded ceiling to them so you can get a little taller height in the uh, in the shower i'm about five eight five nine depending on what kind of pair of shoes i wear but with this sky dome here it gives you a lot of extra room to get clean i mean really when you're out camping it's just kind of spraying off the stuff the sand the dirt kind of just freshen up a little bit so enough space to do that in here as well really good countertop to lay everything out little corner medicine cabinet nice window to open up you got a ceiling vent in here with a fan um, also a spot you can stick a small little garbage can right under there as well so a lot of great space in this bathroom out in the main living area you got your tv that's going to be on a swivel arm so you can almost see it maybe from the bunks um, but you can move that around little storage under here so if you got any roku devices well it's a roku tv but if you got an apple tv or any other devices dvd player old school style uh, video game consoles or anything like that can store them right in here which is nice and there is a power block in there great storage in this unit so the bottom ones are going to be kind of just your uh, power blocks you know or your um, fuse and breaker boxes are going to be down the bottom ones but they give you the nice doors to kind of make it look clean nice storage drawers that pull all the way out and then again storage solid surface wood doors on the imagine so you can just really feel the quality when you open those and open and close them all the time it'd be great under the sink or under the stove rather you got this cool little pegboard setup and kind of put a couple of these in here so depending on your pots and pans and how you got things going you can really set that up so during travel they're not sliding around in there you're coming to open doors which is really cool Nice three burner cooktop. You got an exhaust fan and a light and a microwave. Little cabinet up above. And then again, a lot of really good storage. Really big cabinet trees in this kitchen here. I love these roll up, almost like sink covers. 
You can move them to the side, have it as a drying rack. You leave it across to give you a little more counter space. If you want your whole counter, you roll that up and just tuck it right in the front, right in its little homemade storage spot right there. It's a great little feature. You need more room, you got the counter extender. Nice thing with these guys, super easy to use. Just a couple levers under there, drops right down. U-shaped dinette, this is really great too. So not only does it sleep extra people, um, but you got storage up under it on both sides. Also, you know, if you got a bigger group, what I would do is you take this table and you can kind of move it. Now, if you wanted to, you need extra space outside. You can always fold this down and move it out in front of the camper as well. Um, but when you come back here, you also have a nice cool little ottoman. So what I would do is move this out of here, push this table against the back, and then move that ottoman to into kind of the hallway to give you a little more walk around space because it does kind of drop down. So the table is a little wonky if you pull it out, but I really like that tucked back there. It gives you a lot more seating. Awesome windows. It is a little sunny, so we kind of close this one, but I'll open it up a little bit here for you. You can open this window all the way. You get a lot of really good cross ventilation. The side window on the slide box opens as well. Behind me, you got some power. Uh, you got power down at the bottom down here too. So if you were working from home, have a computer, anything like that, you do have power to be able to do that. So really nice pull down blackout shades on here. 12 volt refrigerator, so a fridge and freezer. We started this video, what, let's see, eight minutes ago, maybe 10 minutes ago, and the freezer is cold already. So that's awesome. No more plugging it in on a Wednesday for a Friday trip. Freezer gets cold, runs off your truck going down the road. You have a lot more space in the fridge and freezer too with these new fridges. So just really, really great. We're gonna be moving this way into the future. So um, look for more of these refrigerators. Now we're back into the bedroom. Really nice thing again with the Imagines, full queen size bed mattress here. So if you wanted to replace this with any size queen, you don't gotta get that camper queen, you can get any size queen, any mattress that you like. Um, thick mattress, just do a mattress topper. However you like to sleep, you got a nice queen mattress. Also want you to kind of notice that there is no in-floor heat ducts. They're all gonna be tucked up under places like the sink or through the walls. They're all gonna come out of here. So with the kids or the pets, you're not gonna lose any Legos or get stuck with dog hair and dirt and grime and sand in all those. It's gonna be easy to clean the floors. The only carpet in here is on the slide box. So really nice. Back in the bedroom. Again, like I said, you are prepped for another AC if you wanted to do that. Otherwise it is just a little uh, roof vent. Just open that up, get some ventilation here. Both the windows will open on the side. Really nice overhead cabinetry um, that hold open on their own, all hidden hinges. So they're all tucked inside. And then you have what we like to call here at Bullion, the hers and hers wardrobe storage on either side. Us guys might to get a, might get a little bit, but Really, if you're going camping, all you need is a pair of board shorts, some trunks, a hoodie, and some long pants in case the bugs are out. Other than that, you're good to go. Um, really nice soft headboard in here. You got your reading lights. We got one turn on the white light. You got the blue light for a little softer. And then you do have these little cubbies on the side too. So they both have power. They both have USBs. So maybe a small CPAP machine or tuck your devices in there. That's a really great idea and a nice spot for those. You got storage up under the bed, again, held up by struts. You got this neat little cabinet, let's see, it's stuck on one side. So this just does pull from side to side, kind of depending on where you got your stuff stored. So that's kind of a cool little convenience factor. Also on either side of the bed, you got more power plugs gonna be down here. And that's gonna be on both sides. TV backer with the appropriate hookups in the ceiling, right in the bedroom too. So if you wanted to add another TV, you can do that. Nice pocket door on this unit to kind of give you a little bit of privacy. 
because this camper can sleep. If you put two on each bunk, so you got two, four. You could put two on here, six, eight. And if you got a huge crew, there's enough space on the ground to maybe put a blow up mattress or some nice blankets and a pillow. Or this is where your buddies are going to sleep or under the couch. You know, if you got dogs um, under the bunks, that's a good spot there too. So um, I think that's all we have for the Imagine, the 2400BH. Again, my name is Kyle Dittman here at Bullion RV. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're doing our best to get our videos out there, trying to improve every day we make another one. So with your help, we can kind of do it together. So help us out. Um, otherwise, give me a shout if I can help. 218-740-4964. Thanks. Have a great day.